garbage in, garbage out, or Jigo. A phrase coined back in 1957 by the US Army's William Mellon. But what does it have to do with the incredible generative AI tools we have today like ChatGPT? Well, it turns out, quite a lot. As amazing as these AIs are, they're still limited by their input. That's why writing effective prompts has become its own highly paid discipline, known as prompt engineering. In fact, it's so lucrative that you could quit your day job and become a professional ChatGPT question asker. According to ZDNet's Sabrina Ortiz, people are making a killing just by asking ChatGPT the right questions. But let's face it, even with the best prompts, ChatGPT can still make stuff up. It's practically qualified to be an American politician. So how can we avoid the dreaded Jigo factor? Join me as we explore the fascinating world of prompt engineering and learn how to get the most out of ChatGPT without getting trapped in a pile of garbage. First, talk to the AI like you would talk to a person. Have you ever felt like you're talking to a wall when trying to get this AI to understand you? Well, turns out the secret to getting the most out of ChatGPT is to talk to it like it's a coworker or a team member. Give it a name like Bob, <laughs> because Joseph is taken. And just like you would with Bob, add some conversational details, share some anecdotes, and don't be afraid to wrangle it back on topic when it veers off course. And boy, when it comes to talking to ChatGPT, you might have to clarify your point a few times, fill in some backstory, and ask complex questions, but trust me, it's worth it. Just like with any good coworker, the more time you spend talking to ChatGPT, the better it gets at understanding you. So let's get chatting with Bob, or ChatGPT, or ChatGPT, whatever floats your boat, and see what kind of amazing conversations we can have. Now, here's an example. So here's our prompt. I'm a fashion blogger, and I need your help writing a blog post. The topic is New York Fashion Week. The post should be helpful for people who are interested in the spring Christian Dior line. Do not start writing yet. Do you understand? Here is what ChatGPT said to me. Equipped with the information and these simple prompts, the tool will learn before it creates any output. The AI will also remember this information for future questions. Next up, set the stage and provide context. It's not just about asking a one sentence question. To really get the best answers, you need to provide some context. It's like when you're trying to explain to your mom why you need to spend a hundred bucks on a new pair of sneakers. You need to give her some background to help her understand why it's important. Similarly, if you want to prepare for a marathon and you ask ChatGPT, how can I prepare for a marathon? You might get some general advice, but it won't be tailored to your needs. However, if you give ChatGPT some context, like I'm a beginner runner and have never run a marathon before, but I want to complete one in six months. How can I prepare for a marathon? You'll get more focused and helpful answers. Trust me, it's like giving ChatGPT a GPS. It'll guide you right to the answers you need. And for the record, I'm with you. There ain't no way I'm running a marathon unless it's on a Harley. Here's another example. I'm a business owner interested in exploring how blockchain technology can be used to improve supply chain efficiency and transparency. I'm looking for a clear and concise explanation of the technology and examples of how it's been used in the context of supply chain management. Can you explain the concept of blockchain technology and its potential applications in supply chain management? In this example, rather than just asking for information on blockchain and how it works, the focus is specifically on blockchain for supply chain efficiency and how it might be used in a real world scenario. Go ahead and feed that prompt into ChatGPT. Its answer is very interesting. Moving on, tell the AI to assume an identity or a profession. ChatGPT is not just a one trick pony. This AI can be whoever it wants to be. A teacher, a marketer, a journalist, a wizard teaching you the basics of spell casting. <laughs> That's my personal favorite. You name it. You can even have it describe a product from different points of view. Let's take the Amazon Echo Alexa, for example. ChatGPT can describe it like a product manager and say something like, this is one of the most innovative and revolutionary products in the smart home industry. Or it can describe it like an adult child caring for an elderly parent and highlight how the device can help with reminders and appointments for the elderly. 
And from a journalist's perspective, ChatGPT can even discuss the privacy concerns surrounding the collection and storage of user data. The possibilities are endless when it comes to the perspectives that ChatGPT can provide. Now that you know what's required of you when writing prompts for ChatGPT, it's time to look at a few prompts for writers and yourself to experiment with. Here we go. Write an introduction based on the bullet points below. It's important to remember that while ChatGPT is an incredibly powerful tool, it's not an expert on everything. Niche topics or current events require subject matter expertise that you must bring to the table. Otherwise, ChatGPT may provide inaccurate or irrelevant responses. One effective strategy to ensure your content is on topic is to write out a list of bullet points that you want to cover in your blog post or article. From there, you can use ChatGPT to generate content based on each section of your outline. This approach allows you to leverage the AI's capabilities while also ensuring the accuracy and relevance of the content. Once you've got your list of bullet points, you can use ChatGPT to help you flesh out each section of the post. For example, you could type a prompt like, Write an introduction based on the bullet points below. And ChatGPT can then use the information you provided to generate a compelling introduction to your post. One of my favorite as a creative writer is this one. Write 10 alternative titles for blank. ChatGPT can be a valuable tool for generating alternative titles and copy for articles. By inputting the main idea or focus of the article, ChatGPT can use its language generation abilities to suggest different variations of the title or subheadings. This can save writers time and energy in the brainstorming and revision process. Additionally, ChatGPT can help identify important keywords to include in titles and headings to optimize search engine rankings or search engine optimization. Here's an example. What keywords should I use in this content? ChatGPT can help with SEO optimization by generating potential keywords and providing suggestions for improving the content. When using ChatGPT for this purpose, it's important to keep in mind that AI is only a tool and not a substitute for good writing and content strategy. So while it can provide valuable insights, it's still up to the writer to craft a compelling and engaging piece. To generate potential keywords, simply plug in the post and ask ChatGPT to provide a list of relevant terms and phrases. For example, you could ask, what are some potential keywords for my blog post on this topic? This can give you a starting point for optimizing your post for search engines. An example would be this. To further improve your SEO, follow up with the prompt. What can I do to improve SEO and the whatever it is you're working on? This can provide valuable insights into areas where you can improve your content, such as including relevant internal and external links, optimizing your meta tags and descriptions, and ensuring that your content is structured in a way that's easy for search engines to crawl and understand. With ChatGPT by your side, you can write more efficiently, generate new ideas, and improve your SEO. So what are you waiting for? Get out there and try out Bob or ChatGPT for yourself and see the difference it can make in your writing. And please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more helpful content like this. And if you've got any questions or comments, please, please leave them down below. We love hearing from our viewers and are always here to help. So until next time, keep writing and keep creating with ChatGPT.